It is Friday. That means a new edition of the Tampa Bay Business Journal hits newsstands. And as always, editor Alexis Milner is here now with some of the week's big stories. Good morning. It's always good to it's see such you. Such a pleasure, dear. You've got some pretty interesting news. Some changes are underway for Bloomin Brands, that's a parent company of Outback and Carabas. Right, and this is a you know a big 4.4 billion dollar company here. Uh, the, you know Outback Fleming's Carabas and Bonefish Grill, which they took a good look at, and they are it turns out they're closing 14 of the 215 bonefishes around the country. They they haven't said exactly where it's going to be. They added more complicated menus. Uh, they added higher prices, and that was creating longer lines. And I think their performance suffered. So like any good corporate citizen, and on behalf of their shareholders, they're going to take a close look at it and decide where what's not performing and what's, what, what is and, and make some changes. So this is, again, a gigantic company, and, and, and they're trying to do what's right for their shareholders. So at this point, you don't know exactly how many restaurants or we where they're going to close. don't know where they're going to be or which ones. But it's not a large amount of them, but they're going to take another look at that, simplify this process, and make it try and bring people back to the restaurant. Yeah, okay. All right, Tampa took part in a national challenge to sign up as many eligible uninsured people under the Affordable Care Act as possible. So how did that one go? Well, it, it went well for Tampa in part because this was a bragging rights challenge. They, they looked at 20 cities and said, sign up as many people under, under the Affordable Care Act as you possibly can who are eligible. And Tampa signed up 114,000 almost of nearly 200, more than 200,000 eligible people, about 49%. No matter how you feel about this act, the more people that they can sign up, I think, you know, obviously for public health purposes and for cost, uh, the better. Also, we've been talking a lot about the expansion project going on at Tampa International Airport. A lot of exciting stuff going on out there, but how does this play into the bigger plans at TIA? Well, they, they marked this week their first big concession center. is a, a $10 million project that came in under budget at $8.7 million uh, and on time, and they celebrated it with a, a cake that looked like the building. And this allows, you know, for very rapid supplies to be distributed to their concessionaires. And they just opened the first couple, Bay, Bay Coffee and Auntie Anne's opened this week. And so now now, with this building as part of their big master plan, things are really rolling at one of the, obviously one of the best airports in the world, and, and it's true. I mean, we, we've all experienced it. Yeah, it's going to be what some 60 new restaurants rolling out. Exactly, out and the first two have started, but they needed this sort of backbone uh, distribution center to make sure that they can deliver the supplies and and uh, it's state of the art. The the, the the stores will get them in, but within a half an hour, and it's all computerized, and it's it's just it's just cool to see a lot of this sort of happening. It's so exciting. It is always good to see you. You too, dear. And for more business journal news, check out the money section on our mobile app.